Welcome, I'm Lia, a PhD student from Indiana University Bloomington and Institute of Information Engineering CIS. I'm presenting you today our study on the work of understanding and discovering attacks on Ethereum decentralized applications. First of all, I'd like to introduce the background of Ethereum. Ethereum is a public blockchain-based distributed computing platform. It's just like computer programs on the blockchain. On Ethereum, there are two types of accounts. Externally owned accounts, we call it as EOA, that are controlled by private keys. And contract accounts controlled by code, which are known as smart contracts. Ethereum DApps are public decentralized applications that interact with Ethereum blockchain, providing services such as gambling, online voting, token system. DApps use a set of smart contracts as its on-chain backends, will also have off-chain components. As the largest DApp market, Ethereum has faced quite a few high-impact attacks on DApps, resulting in millions of dollars losses. In our research, we consider miscrimes who launch attacks on Ethereum DApps for profit. The miscrimes conduct several types of attacks on DApps contracts by calling smart contracts such as exploiting weak randomness or performing integer overflow and flow to manipulate money transfer. Online statistics show that till November the 5th, 2019, more than 3,000 DApps on Ethereum are serving 63,000 active users every day, containing 1 million transactions that involve over 7 million US dollars. In our study, Ms. Kranz took 14,000 users from the victim formal 3D DApp. With this significant threat, the community's understanding about the new type of cybercrimes is still very limited. To the best of our knowledge, no extensive forensic analysis on DApp attacks ever been reported. So we started by wondering to find out what like and how the attacks are launched on real-world DApps how to automatically reconstruct the app attacks, how to find new attacks and zero-day victim DApps. To answer those research questions in our research, we found that while the app be exploited, all forensic evidence such as attack traces will be kept in related transactions, which can later be used to analyze the attack. During Ethereum operations, the Ethereum blockchain traces every account state which is recorded in a transaction. A transaction is a same data package which carry multiple fields like to, from, value, etc. During a transaction, a contract is run by the Ethereum virtual machine. The contract may communicate internally with other EOAs and contracts. To understand what data has been modified or what external contract have been involved, the transaction execution can be traced via re-executing a transaction under all historical states. For example, in this figure, a contract call trace transaction includes nine execution traces, which is sent from 0x73 to call the function execute as a contract of 0x54. The transaction has triggered a set of execution traces, such as an internal call agile pod, which is a vulnerable function. Here, we elaborate the design and implementation of a methodology that extends, extends limited information from technique blocks and reports to tens of thousands of transactions related to attack incidents and further analyze attack operations. Our approach first reconstructs real-world Ethereum DApp incidents from technique blocks, news, posts, and the security reports. Extract all transactions, EOAs, and exploit contracts. Then to understand attack operation, operations related to the explore transactions, we model execution behaviors using their execution traces and further determine their operational semantics by clustering the explore transactions based upon the similarity and timings. More specifically, we review the incident reports to identify immutable attack-related information as this site including victim DApp addresses, exploit contract addresses, attacker EOS, and exploit transaction hashes. In this way, we identify 42 DApp attack incidents, which consist 77 exploit transactions. 
we look, look into all transactions to reconstruct the reporting incidents, which were issued by attacker EOS or exploit contracts to interact with the victim DApps. We extended a data size with 58 file transactions. Before coming to the details of our findings, first summarize the footprint of a typical DApp attack, which consists of four stages, attack preparation, exploitation, attack propagation, and mission completion. In the attack preparation stage, a DApp attack starts with several transactions calling the victim DApp for exploit developers to test the exploit codes. Meanwhile, we observe that money managers transfer attack costs into the exploit contracts. This is done through money mills to conceal the manager's EOAs. Then in the exploitation stage, multiple attack operators invoke the exploit contracts to attack the victim DApp and gain profit. After the attack, in the attack propagation stage, we found that the operators either reuse or further adjust the exploit contract to explore other similar DApps. During the mission completion stage, the attack operators destruct the exploit contracts and withdraw attack profits. Below, we elaborate our measurement study and forensics analyze on real-world DApp attacks. In the preparation stage, we found that the attacker transactions mainly serve two purposes. First, testing the exploit contracts and the second, transferring funds to bootstrap their attacks. As an example, I see in the figure, before attacking the vulnerabilities in the two formal 3D functions, the attacker created two test contracts to evaluate airdrop port and contract creation functions. Apparently, the adversary performed his own software integration testing. In this way, we found such a preparation stage exists in 85% of an attack incidents, with average 23 transactions. In exploitation stage, the adversary tends to rapidly evolve his strategies during an attack. For example, in the bad randomness attack on Formos 3D, the first exploit version seemingly created many new contracts to predict the function's output using the block information and the public logic of AirDrop. In order to improve the first version, the second one evaluating existing contract blocks and utilize the contract on the winning blocks to generate a temporary contract to trigger airdrop so as to save the cost for contract creation. In the last version, so the worthy collects all information from existing contracts and makes the prediction option before commanding the most compromising contract to invoke airdrop. Given this new cyber threat intelligence discovers, we build a detection tool, DIFFER, to find new attacks, including those on zero-day victim DFs. DIFFER uses the sequence of transactions and operations to recover attack footprints and determine the stage of an exploit. DIFFER includes two components, preprocessing and sequence-based classification. Preprocessing automatically extends the site to include those indirectly related to the DApp and then clusters the similar transactions. An operational intent sometimes consists of several transactions from multiple EOAs. To find the transaction clusters under the same operational context, we utilize the algorithm described as a function to group the transactions. Transactions with similar execution traces or happen within a small time are clustered. For each sequence of transactions, we propose a novel embedding technique to convert the sequence into a feature vector that captures the latent intent of the sequence. Those vectors are then go through a S model to analyze the relation between the vectors. Then a multi-layer perceptual classifier model outputs the attack stage they belong to. The transaction execution can be too DF specific and noisy to capture the operational intent. Since the execution trace may contain many operations that happen inside the DF, for example, invocation of the DF's internal libraries. To address this issue, we employ an EOA DF execution attention model to highlight the useful information related to the EOS intent on the DApp. 
We evaluate it differ over the ground truth data side built by ourselves. Differ shows a micro precision of 98% and micro recall of 98%. We collected 104 popular DApps and their corresponding contract addresses. Differ inspected these transactions and labeled 400,000 of them with one of the tax stages. These transactions are related to attacks on 85 victim DApps. For each victim DApp, we randomly sample 4% of the reported transactions. In total, we manually investigated 400,000 transaction clusters and get a micro precision of 91%. This table summarizes our findings. Our study reveals that either DApps attacks are indeed prevalent, compromising various kinds of DApps through different attack vectors. Finally, to summarize, we did the first measurement study and Francis analyzed our real world DApp attacks. Our new understanding and cyber threat intelligence discovered can help mitigate the threat to DApps. Running deeper on 104 DApps, we were able to discover 400,000 exploit transactions on 85 targets. In particular, reported 75 zero day victim DApps. Finally, thank you. Thanks to the great collaboration with Xinyue Shen, Xiang Yudu, Assistant Professor Xiao Jingliao, Professor Xiaofeng Wang, Assistant Professor Lu Yixing, and Professor Bao Xuliu. And now it's over to you. I'll be happy to answer questions. <laughs>